G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Victoria 3 and in today's video we are going to be playing as the beautiful second best Scandinavian country, Sweden. That's right, I said the second best with Norway obviously being the better one. <coughs> Ugh, yeah. So as Sweden, we are going to try and form Scandinavia in today's video. Now Scandinavia is probably like probably my second, third favorite nation to form. Obviously with Australia being the first one and probably second being Byzantium. Now we are, now our beautiful ruler is King Carl Johan Bernadotte. Now, as you can see here, this man is French, ruling Sweden, so I don't know how that happened, but, um, that is very interesting. So here, we are chilling with 30 battalions, along with 10 flotillas. Our GDP is 4 million, which we definitely need to increase. Now, we're chilling with a population of 2.79 million, along with the second highest literacy in the game, being second to Great Britain, with it being 60.3. And we are chilling with an impoverished rate of 11.8. So, so far, so good, if you ask me. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna jump right on in. Now, as a Sweden, we are going to try and do a couple of things. As you can see here, we are going to try and grab Finland from Russia's hands as quickly as possible. Now, as you can see here, we obviously feeling a bit good. Now, as you can see here, France loves us, uh, which is great. So, they are protective. So, we'll ask them to uh, increase our relations, and we are going to increase our relations with Austria. Mainly those two, Great Britain's cool and all, but yeah, not really. And we're also going to go ahead and declare our rivalry on the beautiful Denmark. That's right. We're going to go more of a conquest kind of route in today's video. First things first, what are we going to research? So we're going to go ahead and probably research some production. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the mechanical tools. So then we can obviously grab precision tools, steel tools, etc. for production. Now, obviously our GDP is what we're going to be focusing on uh, and standard or living basically. So as you can see here for agriculture, we only have rye farms and livestock farms. So we are going to have to rely on some imports like dye and stuff etc uh logging camps pretty good iron mines lead mines coal mines so we got really a gist of the good stuff we can build steel mills straight away which is nice all right so so far so good um but yeah budget oh god what are we gonna do with budget? that's right we're gonna tax the shit out of people <laughs> grain oh what are we gonna grow we're gonna grab services and we're also going to grab uh yeah we're also gonna grab life. why not uh that's definitely gonna help us again okay so to form the nation of scandinavia as you can see here we do need to own at least three more states, which we can just grab from Denmark. Um, I mean, as you can see here, three, eleven. But in order to form it, we do need to do a couple of things, like obviously make the primary culture or whatever. But what I want to do for today, so in order for us to score, form Scandinavia, we do need to own eleven more provinces. But what I want to do is I'm gonna grab everything in this red. All right, so we may even puppet Denmark or do other things, etc. Um, do all the fun things, uh, really. But that's what we are going to do. Um, we do have low market access and. Scania, uh, we're gonna go ahead and declare our interests, obviously, on, um, the high north sea and take our interest off here and actually probably see if we can grab stuff in south america that is if we can so now that we got those two out of the way it is the government the government how the fun the fun lads of this now what we're going to do is we're going to chuck in the industrial uh we're going to go ahead and probably focus on laws so we do have per capita taxation which is nice we are an oligarchy uh which is pretty good but i would also like to probably land on landed voting so we'll go and see we can net that. So yeah, I mean, more or less, um, uh, today we're more, I'm more or less just experimenting and having a bit of fun with it, you know, trying to cause a bit of mayhem and whatnot. But yes, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves some iron mines. So we do have a couple, um, maybe some fishing wolves as well. Actually, no, so standard of living market. Let's go ahead and do, go to the staple goods. As you can see here, we do need to increase our logging camps for our buy order. Uh, some with furniture, mate, fabric as well. Uh, fabric may need a bit. Uh, so we're good uh, on fish and grain wise but more or less we will go ahead and do um our uh, uh, wood and also while we're at it we're going to go from urban centers to market squares which is going to obviously decrease furniture but it's also going to increase the prices of so as you can see here if we decrease our services it is definitely oh see it's glasses are already expensive enough so <laughs> enough as it is so what we'll go ahead is we're going to go ahead build our logging camps because glass does consume log so that is what we're going to do um we're going to go ahead maybe do three there um uh, we'll go also stack it up in gotland as well now social now decrees now what i'm going to do is we are definitely going to do a greener grass campaign on norland um and then we'll also do increased resources here 
here and here more or less that's going to be great and then we'll do promote social mobility in our capital because that's where we're going to be mostly building all the universities and whatnot so then that would be beautiful preserve they want us to preserve the oligarchy okay i mean if you want to preserve it we'll, we'll preserve it i mean fair enough um okay freedom contra party but professional army uh, honestly we we start off pretty well i mean the hells we probably should grab all right i mean we you know what's funny we could probably go to war so what i'm gonna do is i'm definitely gonna expel the, our diplomats onto uh thingo and i do really want to transfer Finland over. I mean, the quicker we can get that done, the better. Um, but so far, Prussia, we can ask, increase their relations with them. Oh, Austria's just not interested with us, so that's um, that's very kind of them, and we'll also improve our relations with Great Britain, more or less just increasing our power, so then we can take down Russia. And they're also fighting the Kazakhs, too. Um, so that's very interesting. I think what I will do is, I think when, as they're doing that, um, we are dead. No, I think this may be a perfect time all right uh, they, yes they are now in war and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead transfer the finland over uh hopefully that is what's going to happen we can all we could persuade france to join this war which we are def oh and great britain uh that's beautiful uh they want to have an obligation over us i mean we might as well have it um hopefully uh this is what so they are they, apparently they're confident prussia sides with russia wow okay i mean fair enough uh oh Oh, an obligation on both sides right i mean uh Pr i mean prussia will definitely uh colloidal yes oh 10 percent. that's really nice we also do this we're gonna increase our glass um so we're gonna be probably build a couple here um and we'll build probably one in norland well and we do oh our bureaucracy is kind of falling apart uh but that's fine um not winning in this front but uh, not winning in that front either. Uh, good luck. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add one more general. Uh, Pillager, persistent offensive planner. Yes, you are definitely the man for this. And we're going to do a naval invasion on southern Finland. Oh, dude, I really hope this works out. I mean, we got an advantage on all of these. So, I mean, we shouldn't lose should we i don't think so and hopefully oh yes look at this beautiful so once we can grab all, all of this down here dude um that's gonna be beautiful now obviously yeah more or less just wanna oh look at norway go oh graciously gorgeous um yeah no going through this beautiful swedish campaign is oh man it's 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 beautiful oh look at that no we've been stopped in our tracks over here um right oh we've got colonial exploitation as well and what we're gonna do is actually while in the midst of this i think we should probably go ahead and build some more government admin building uh before it gets bad so probably build two in norland we'll build two in gotland as well <laughs> Uh, I better just fix that up real quick. Oh, apparently. Uh, but yeah, no, honestly, this is just a, a clean win for us. Um... Uh, I mean, we could just, you know, propose a peace deal, Russia. You know, we'll there we go. Propose this. Thank you. And Finland is now ours, and they are loyal. Of course, they're loyal. Why not? Because I've got to pop at them. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll, we'll leave them for now. So before I go ahead and form Scandinavia, I think we'll we'll definitely sure, um, bureaucracy needs to be uh, uh, obviously addressed here and taken care of. Now Denmark, however, um, that's a bit of a different topic. Um, so obviously Denmark we could obviously take on but knowing them they would probably want to um, you know do their fun things and all that gunky garbage um so we're gonna go ahead do this and actually while we grab these we are going to definitely go ahead and uh, go ahead and start doing some colonial expansion in south america so over here as you can see here dye plantation so obviously we want to just use it for dye i mean that's usually what we want it for um oh god we're suffering government wise uh probably go ahead now obviously with that on the meantime i think oh i'm arming the uh, we should uh, yes oh mapuche is it Oh, if they want to fight, they'll get one. No, we'll just grab that. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, buildings. I think what we can do now is come over to rural logging camps. Uh, so they're all mainly focused. Uh, atmospheric engine pump. All of it. We need all of them on that. We'll grab soil enriching farms, uh, livestock grants, intensive agriculture. So obviously we are going to decrease the price of paper. So and how we're going to do that, you may ask. Well, here we go. So yes, we obviously do not meet the orders for paper um and obviously with more paper 
Uh, so I think we'll build some in Zvealand, probably two, and we'll build a lot more in there, and some in Gotland. We'll build about three. Oh, so good. We got the highest literacy in the world. We're first in the world, which is pretty nice. We got fractal distillation. Um, but yeah, honestly, I think I think it's time. We, wait, who, are they at war? Oh no, they are out of the world. Yeah, no, they're <laughs> they're obviously gonna win that one. Uh, but yeah, Denmark, Denmark, and okay, yep, your rivalry with us. Mm -hmm. Amicable, absolutely amicable and cordial. Cool, I mean, uh, I don't give a crap about Russia, but uh, you gotta love Russia anyway. Um, all right, so there we go, there we go. Denmark, diplomacy, interaction. I think it's time we uh, go for Jutland and Zealand. Um, now, obviously, that's gonna give us a lot of infamy, and I do want to grab Iceland. Um, so, you know what? No, we'll grab, oh, which one's the highest? Hey, we'll grab Zealand. But what I will do, actually, yes, there we go. Nitroglyphs, we've got some railways, great. Uh, military. I don't think we see. We haven't been focusing on military. Uh, so that may be, that may prove a bit uh, of a problem. So what will come here is time to conquer Zealand. Yes. Uh, hopefully we can bring in some allies or we could bring in the French. Hopefully they, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. They want to make a, do yeah, dominion, a puppet. I'll actually bring in, take a treaty port. Uh, Spain. They want to conquer the state. Oh, the Danish Western India. Indies. Um, actually, I'll see what- wait, who- oh, Denmark gets Prussia, right, okie dokie, um, okay, oh, f France, um, offer to humiliate Prussia, dude, great, beautiful, that's, that's exactly what we want, um, uh, add a war goal, I think we'll also add a war goal to take, uh, Jutland as well, oh, Denmark backs down, never mind, <laughs> Uh, they didn't want to mess with, uh, they, they didn't want to beef with Thingo. And we are now ranked 14th as a major power. Beautiful. Love to see that. Who's ahead of us? Ah, yes. Good old Brazil. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. All right. So here we go. Expensive government goods, paper tools. Um, not, we, obviously we don't produce paper well enough. Uh, so actually, I think we can paper here. Uh, we'll definitely do sulfite. Yeah, there we go. Sulfite. Um, all right, great. So obviously, uh, we may have to build up our cash reserves again we've got to remember that we're, we're taxing the shit out of people and all that gunky garbage i mean holy crap from uh oh con being conquered from a foreign country oh yeah foreign country i mean we're not that foreign are we um uh, oh yes um sulfur that's where we want to be here we go resources sulfur mines um oh maybe it's tools uh there we go the canvas of ideas Okay, so good old Chile has uh, declared their rivalry on me. Um, I don't know um, what I've done wrong, but I guess it's pretty good. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically grabbing this little bottom part of South America is definitely going to help us out. So what I am doing now is I'm building up some railway transportation and all that stuff. Um, I should probably import some more iron, um, even though we can just probably grab it from the American uh, Spanish market. Uh, so hopefully that may help us out uh, for the means time uh but yeah when it comes to iron as you can see here we are really lacking behind on that transportation but that's what we're building now lads so so far so good and obviously this is going to consume up motor industry yay great you gotta love that lads we gotta love it so industries motor industries and a lot of that is gonna be great but i think i will start probably importing wait oh there we go and yes the british market hopefully that can help us out um but yeah more or less fixed up our government goods and all that unproductive trade routes ah oh, look at that the employment for our logging camps beautiful beautiful uh i think we'll go ahead and give this one rail transportation yay oh look at that italy's been formed isn't that oh wow they're in a customs union with uh austria as well so that's pretty uh, dope uh, well they're genial yeah they're genial prussia is wary of us wow ev is everyone wary of us what have i done damn i didn't know i was that uh scary uh okay make them our puppets oh yes no this would be great to do actually all right, there we go. So Denmark. All right, time to make Denmark our puppet. Uh, all right, now this could be very. Uh, this could be so bad uh, to the point where uh, they want us to. They want to return Zealand. Prussia wants to join. Uh, I mean, France sides with Denmark. All right, well we're going to offer to conquer the state of. Yeah, you know what? Grab that one. Might as well. We can get if we can get Prussia involved. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, offer to take a treaty port. Well, we can really turn that around. Prussia. Whoa, they want a trade. Pretty good. I mean, I do want to. Or I do want to grab. I. Uh, well, actually, no. We're puppet. Austria sides with Denmark. Oh shit. 
board. Great. Two arms. Here we go. Naval invasion. We're going straight for Iceland, baby. Right into it. And hopefully, if we could just grab Denmark, that would be a great start um, here. Uh, okay, this these lads are holding us off. Um, so far, we're doing good. Uh, I want to see who's... Oh, okay. The De Denmark's exhaustion is going down quicker than ours. Uh, navally... Um, wait, we're not in the battle, are we? Preparing at three, two, one. Good. Preparing for a new front. Yes, we got into Iceland. Beautiful. That's a very good start um, to this beautiful campaign. Uh, oh, Great Britain want us to join in their customs union. Um, they wish... Oh, they're calling... Oh, they're calling in our... Okay, yes. We're gonna have to do that. So, that's fine. So, that's the British market, essentially, now. So, um... Mm, mm. Okay, I mean, sucks that we have to do that, uh, but that's good because that means we can really focus uh, industrially uh, for the meantime. But in this war, I mean, we might as well just build up the cash reserves, honestly. Um, but yeah, see, we're, like, holding them off and then we're not holding them off. It's like... Pain on pain. Uh, but yes, we've done this a fat dub up here. But dude, dude, look at Great Britain go, man. They are going ham. See, you know what's funny, right? See, this is fine, but we will definitely... We're gonna win this. I just know we are. <laughs> I'm very confident that we will win. I mean, Prussia at the moment's not looking too bright. But look at that. That naval invasion is coming in clutch right there. So that is just perfect uh and here so hopefully this their war exhaustion is gonna drop but is it dropping down by 11 holy crap okay so so far so good and then in our next war i think we will definitely pop it and then after that uh, i think it's a nice beautifully formed scandinavia uh for us so great britain is going good here um but yeah so far this war man it's yeah it's, it's kind of just like very one-sided oh they want to oh yes they will accept this peace deal. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at all of that. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, love to see that. Uh, personal union. Oh, whistle stop to a car product with the guard intends to travel across Veland and train campaign to let Hammer. Uh, campaigning by train is by rail is a smart move. Indeed it is. So we do have the steam engine time and branching out. Uh, but obviously we do need to have uh, rail. Oh, yes. Rail transportation. There we go. Okay. Oh. Ooh, restricted child labor. Yes. That. Oh, okay. The Lantanama party has... Okay, which one's that? Lantama party. Okie dokie. So, um, at the current meantime, I'm going to go ahead and activate a lot more rail transportation in all these areas. So, I build about four here. I say we build a couple here. Yeah, build about two. And I say we build two. Oh, yes. Two here as well. So, hopefully that shouldn't take too long. I mean, we've got about 32 months. That's pretty... We've got about two years until everything uh, does their job. Um, actually, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and build more construction sectors. Yep, I'm going to try and stack something. So we've built about a couple of Scania and maybe... Oh, there we go. Patronized realist art. So basically uh, what I've done is I have gone ahead and just made a lot of market... Uh, <laughs> A lot of art places with the Arts Academy report being that because our population just they love art. Uh, it's it's such a funny thing, but as you can see here, we're, but as you can see here, uh, clothes and furniture really just focusing on that standard of living, just trying to make Sweden a you know going to make Scandinavia a, a nice beautiful place to live. Um, I would actually now go ahead and actually enact our landed a wealth voting, and hopefully that has got a lot of success behind it. So that's pretty good. And as you guys can see over here with Sweden. We are rank 9th just under Italy. Uh, we do have 14.5 being 13th in the entire world with the Ottomans now chilling at 9th. Now, uh, I haven't really been looking too much down here. Uh, the Latanma party. Uh, um, obviously here as well. I think we could definitely build more construction sectors now. Uh, yeah, we really just want... We're going to start... Uh, so we'll start building more in Zealand. 1, 2... Uh, yeah, we'll build them all here. Um, I think, on it, honestly, uh, this is where we're deaf. This is so far so good. I mean, um, okay, yep, Copenhagen, Copenhagen. Uh, yeah, pan nationalism, beautiful. Uh, what are we gonna research now? I think we we'll grab the steam donkey. Come over here to cultures. Form Scandinavia, baby. Would you look at that? We're now chilling with a 25.8 million GDP. Um, that's pretty good. Standard living's 14.4. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so far so good. This is just gonna keep getting dude. Look at that. That's just that's a straight line going up. Uh yeah, no, we're catching up to Italy pretty damn quickly. Uh we're building our arms industries pretty fast. I mean, now that we formed Scandinavia, I mean honestly, we could still just 
take a chill pill. Um, I mean, I do want to keep Finland as its own little lad. Oh, dude, look at that. I don't know why I've gotten so interested in flags playing this game. Just I love seeing the flag changes. It's so nice. Credit where credit's due. Credit the industrialists, of course. But as you can see, government wages, government admin buildings are definitely costing a lot. So building at paper mills, furniture, uh, really lowering down those costs, like military wages, barracks, government, so many. So damn many. Would you look at that? We've got about 65, which is sick. But I, yet again, I think I'm going to call it there for today's video. I mean, we formed Scandinavia. We managed to absolutely uh, do well with the GDP. I mean, obviously we can do much better, but so far, so good, you know. But yet again, thank you everyone so but yet again thank you everyone so much for watching today's video don't forget to leave a like subscribe we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers sometime this year i have no idea when but there'll be so much if you guys can do that but yet again i'll see you guys next video peace out